guys welcome back to my channel today i'm painting princess tutu and fakir because i removed one of the paintings because i didn't like it even though it was my favorite anime anyways i'll be telling a story that is called my mother-in-law tricked my vegetarian daughter into eating meat let's get into the video <laughs> My mother-in-law tricked my vegetarian daughter into eating meat. Luna's the sweetest, most generous daughter a father could ever ask for, in my humble opinion. Even as an infant, any time she got chocolate bar or biscuit, she'd insist to split it in two with me. That sums her up to a T. I think always mindful of others. I'm not saying she couldn't be a real beast at times. Take away her phone and watch how fast the claws come out. But generally, her mother and I agreed we'd been, we'd been blessed as parents. For Luna's eighth birthday, we took her into on, our, on a trip to this little farm where she rode a tractor and went in the hay slide and endlessly petted cute bunnies chicks and baby goats. By sundown, the poor thing was dog tired. On the way home, we stopped at McDonald's, where Luna started stared at her burger, mouth twisting it into a little snarl, then announced she was vegetarian. My wife and I exchanged a look. Our daughter, a vegetarian? What a ridiculous idea. Let's just say she inherited an unfortunate medical condition for me. I'd hope she'd forget all about the little announcement, but the next morning she, after after shuffling into the kitchen, she saw the bacon sizzling on the grill and said, can I have oatmeal instead? Over in the coming months, I went to great pains accommodating her new diet. It wasn't always easy. And there were a few missteps along the way, but things worked out in the end. Now my mother-in-law frequently complained about how Luna had wrapped me around her baby finger. So it wouldn't, won't shock you to hear she didn't approve of this lifestyle choice. Honestly, I think a lot of, a lot of resentment seemed from having a granddaughter that wouldn't eat her famous beef stew. But there were other concerns too. She said Luna he hibernated in her room too much and her re reoccurring illness was imaginary and we let her miss so much school. We ignored these complaints as best as we could. When Luna was 14, my wife and I got dragged halfway across the country for a funeral. And after two babysitters canceled, we had no choice other than to ship her off to her grandmother's. I wasn't there for what happened next, but from what I understand, my mother-in-law went up to the spare room, insisting Luna try some stew. She refused through the door. Grandma should sh should shoulder change her way inside, march over the window, and rip the curtains open, muttering how it wasn't all d that dark yet. Luna called me at dawn, sobbing hysterically. Immediately, me and my wife flew home and to help clean up. The place was a damn slaughterhouse. There were even entrails hanging from the ceiling fan. Turns out my daughter ate the beef stew along with most of grandma. My wife and I blame ourselves. Honestly, we never should have left poor Luna alone during a full moon. So basically, what they're what what they're trying to say is that Luna is a werewolf. I think that was an interesting story. This is the painting I did today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Lost and confused, like an illusion